Absolutely, and it's ongoing because we're talking about another tornado watch in effect right now. Yesterday there was a tornado watch and we had at least two tornadoes confirmed and one unconfirmed tornado reported. Take a look at this picture now taken by the Arizona Department of Transportation staff. It shows the destruction left behind in Belmont, Arizona, just <coughs> west of the Flagstaff area. And check out this new video of the tornado damage. Of course, a lot of the damage was along Interstate 40. Semi trucks were overturned and a train derailed. In fact, we've gotten reports that it was a freight train. Delmont, Arizona. Santa Fe freight train with 28 of the cars actually <laughs> uh, broken off of the actual train itself. So, major oh, concerns. We did have reports that both uh, lines actually were uh, disconnected, if you will, but one is expected to reopen later tonight. Okay, let's see what's going on right now because we still have that tornado watch, as mentioned, from northern Arizona into the southern parts of Utah. And the tornado watch simply means that severe, that conditions are favorable for tornadic activity. In fact, we still have tornado warnings, and that means that according to Doppler radar in this case, that the signature is indicating that some of these thunderstorms, in fact, this particular thunderstorm cell, is highly capable of producing tornadoes. A lot of turning in the atmosphere with height. So let's bring in our severe weather expert. Let's turn to him for the latest. And Dr. Forbes, tell us more about this tornado warning. Yeah, we have storms die. that are briefly getting some rotation. They're rolling north-northeast at about 40 miles per hour, so you have to act quickly. This storm system's had a history of sort of stalling in one place. Yesterday, it was hailstorms, tennis ball size, five hours rolled across the Phoenix area. Today, it's a little bit farther to north. It's up around the Flagstaff area. That began around sunrise with those couple of tornadoes there in Belmont, west suburb of Flagstaff. Here's the situation. A lot of turning of the winds and increase with height. That favors tornadoes. Surface winds in brown coming in from the south southeast. Low level jet, especially this morning, about 60 mile per hour, just a little above the ground from the south, and then high aloft from the south southwest. So that's the kind of turning, the increase of height, the shear, the rolling that gets converted into tornado circulation. This morning, that tornado hit with 50 degrees, so pretty unusual for that. Now it's warmed up to the 60s uh, and the uh, 80s down to the south, so oh, the storms may build their way down into the Phoenix area in some of that warmer air. Here's that cold air aloft, though, that has been mainly the trigger, allowed that tornado to form despite uh, cold temperatures at the surface. It's a little bit of a lobe. Can you see it uh, oblong here? And that may lift to the north, keep Phoenix and Tucson uh, out of the threat area, but we'll continue to monitor that. Certainly at the moment, it's still northern parts of Arizona. Uh, we've had storms rolling from north of Phoenix across Flagstaff up to the Tuba City area. Most dangerous storms right now are a pair of them. One that's rolled, had a tornado on it up to the northeast of Flagstaff. Another has come uh, just east of Sedona, heading now off just to the east of Flagstaff, maybe go to the Winona area, uh, and a uh, possible tornado and damaging winds and some hail with that. So here and there, especially along that band, it may shift east as the evening goes on. Parts of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado with a chance of tornadoes, some hail, some flooding uh, in some of these training storms. Tomorrow, <laughs> the system begins pushing a little bit farther away. Parts of Colorado, Utah, New Mexico may have a similar kind of chance. And Coconino County, you had those two tornadoes at least this morning. Uh, this is not unusual, actually, with these kind of cutoff lows. October for that county has actually been the month since 1950 that's had the most tornadoes. Uh, four of them actually in the morning of those 27. So not unusual, but certainly a kind of, uh, this is the kind of pattern when it can happen in the fall. Vivian? Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Forbes, for that report. And of course, we'll continue to follow. What the hell is just going on in Arizona, dude? Well, we have another low pressure. We came down here from Wisconsin to get away from the tornadoes. They followed us. Okay.